So Wolves extended their lead over third place to 15 points today with a great win against QPR 2-1. I say great, a great result. At this point of the season with 15 games to go, results are all that matter. Performances really can go out the window provided that we come out with three points most weeks. We're looking now on 70 points, looking at 90 points to get promoted, so that's 19 more points and hopefully it's only a matter of time before those points come. So Wolves started the game quite slowly, I thought, the first few minutes, but then very early on, 12 minutes in, Wolves took the lead, a good breakaway down the left-hand side, Cavalier then put in a ball in, which was bundled home, uh, quite a contrast to the goals that we saw last week, beautiful finish from Neves and a great in the, uh, team goal with Jota finishing that off. But today, a little bit more scrappy, a little bit more sort of just right place, right time from Undai, which was... What we needed and you know glad to be one nil up and then Wolves came into the game a lot more I thought they started slowly but they came into it a lot more and Costa then benefiting from a good break from Cavaliero who very selflessly crossed it across the box squared it to him and he tapped it home and then Costa started to look a little bit more confident at that point he had a few heavy touches and a few slow he didn't look quite on it until he scored his goal and then he filled with confidence and looked a little bit brighter then as the half went on. Now despite Wolves being dominant in the first half, QPR showed signs of being a threat. They had the first couple of chances, went to QPR and also they came into it with their physical threat as well. And then second half, a little bit, little bit of complacency crept in. John Ruddy with a real lapse in concentration, allowing them to have a corner where they really shouldn't have done it. He should have come out and collected it. The ball was in the air above Douglas, I think it was, and he flapped at it or, or left it. There wasn't much communication, and then as a result, they had a corner. He did make a very good reflex save uh, down to his left, but then the ball wasn't cleared, and then an overhead, free, an overhead kick from their player uh, saw them come back into the game and then they did threaten quite a lot and it was the closest we've seen I think a game at Molyneux for a long time this season because Wolves sort of were nervous in possession and they were making mistakes and Jota had a few heavy touches, a phobie came on, he doesn't look match sharp to me at the moment, a couple of he really heavy touches, the ball bouncing off him uh, and he did have one good chance at the near post with the ball coming in from the left hand side but it just went wide. Uh, Jota, I think, as well. I've mentioned how poor I think he played today. Uh, I say poor. He had a few heavy touches and didn't look as sharp as he usually does. But also, I feel like he should be putting away more goals. He should be scoring a goal a game, really, in the championship. Uh, for a player like him, the number of chances that he gets and the breakaway chances, he really should be slotting more of them home. And hopefully... He will do. I think he's looking a little bit tired as well. You know, we, after the Marbella break, he came back and had looked a bit fresh, but he seems to be a little bit jaded again. Um, but considering he started every single game this season, it's an amazing feat from him, and hopefully uh, he keeps going in a similar sort of vein that we've seen over recent games. I think a couple of notable mentions today have to go to Connor Cody and to Ryan Bennett, uh, who personally was my man of the match. I think he had the goal line clearance in the second half as well, which would have made it 2-2. He also made a couple of good challenges as well in the first half and looked very calm and composed in possession. Connor Cody, as we've seen all season, fantastic leader and a great captain and somebody who's really come into that role fantastically well. So Wolves on 71 points, 19 points to go to that magic 90 point mark and of course hoping for a Birmingham City win tomorrow against Aston Villa. Let me know your thoughts of today's game in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.